So let's take a look at references. If we were to open up the references, I have a couple of folders within the folder. You'll also notice that I have a Readwise folder. I highly, highly recommend that you get Readwise because it integrates into Obsidian beautifully. So one of the things that I do to keep organized is I keep a running list of books that I might want to reference or take a look at that I don't have immediate access to but are in the ASU library. And the way that I do that is I have this ASU library ebooks and it's organized by subset of categories of just things that I tend to work with. I can go to the environmental and sustainability books and then I have here a book that I know that I want to take a look at and um, I have these additional notes where I can go directly to the book. So it's almost like having a library in Obsidian that goes directly to another library when the books aren't in your vault. Again, a way to organize your vault is I don't want to clutter it up with actual individual notes in that case. I want to have just one meta note that has links to the library. Anything else in this folder, it's a literature note. So if I go to, for instance, Barrett 2007, you could see here that um, I made a literature note and I've kept this literature note in the references folder. This is really important for the kind of work that I do. I always keep that reference note intact. And I've talked about this in other videos of mine. Even when I have additional notes that are based in this reference note, I always want to have a link back to the literature note and a link back to the original source. That's critical for me. And I'm not going to get into how I take literature notes in this video. This is more just about the organization of my vault. But I will say that I highly recommend having a literature note that stays in a reference folder, even when you have additional notes related to that literature. And you can see here that I have a note on broadening musicianship, but it includes other references because broadening musicianship is a pretty broad category of ways of thinking about things. It's not specific to Janet Barrett, but Janet Barrett has some notes on broadening musicianship that are in this note. And you can also see that here I have some material from Randall also. In the references, I have these literature notes and highly recommend that whether you're an undergraduate, graduate, uh, a professor, that you have a folder that has all your literature notes in it. That's what that folder is.